Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D scene in Icon 7.9. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. This is the Icon 7. When this is the first time you open it, it will show you just in. It is just an empty scene. If you check the scene, it just have nothing. You have a, a shadow catcher prop. You don't have any of the sky. And you have the default light at here. All right, now, in order to create a scene, the first, you may just think of one to create an outdoor scene. For example, the outdoor scene, you need to have the sky. So where to find the sky? Just come to here, go to the sky, and then here it will include any of the sky that you already have or you already purchased. For example, this one, the blue sky. You just need to double click it, then it will automatically apply the sky. Just double click, it will automatically change the sky for you. All right, let's say blue sky 05. Now, this is a blue sky. And next, you may want to apply some terrain. Just need to go to the terrain. From the terrain here, these are the terrain that you already purchased or it is already in the software by default. I may just go to here. You can see you have some terrain. If you double click it, it will just be inside here. All right, now this is an outdoor scene. If you want to create water, you can see all of this, this is not water, this is just the grid. You can toggle by using the control G. All right, now if you want to apply the water, just go to the water right here. So I may just go to the water you have a few water for you to choose. For example, the river flow, you can just double click it. Now you will have a water terrain. When you play, you can see now it is flowing. All right. In order to adjust any of the scenes, you can just come to here, come to the scenes. You can see you already have the sky, you have the hill, you have the water. The water you, you also can adjust, for example, the wave size. You can make it bigger. Or you can make the wave size just to be small. You play. The water speed, the wave speed. Now you can see you have certain speeds. You also can make it flow faster. All right, now, next, what else? The water size, the water height, you can just, for example, if you put 20, it will be lower. If you put zero, if you put negative 100, negative 500, see? You can adjust the height of the water. Just to adjust from here, remember, you need to go to the scene, already select, selected the water, then you can adjust all these variables. The height. Let's say if I put negative 300. Now, it is up to you to adjust the water, the water terrain. And also, if you back to the contents, you can choose different type of the water. Just now, it's the river flow. If I choose a deep flow, it may different. The color also have the have a different color. If you play, now, you may feel you want to change the direction of the water. Yes, you can change the direction. Now it's 90. If you change it to become 180, it will flow in opposite direction. See? Just now it's 90, 180. It's zero, totally opposite direction. 
now it's go toward there you all can see all right so that is the water directions 270 then to change the direction for this time I may want to decrease the height I put it as negative 200 make it lower it is up to you to make it higher make it lower it is up to you all right next you may feel you want to add some plants to add some grasses over here okay you choose from the grasses you drag in it can automatic plant it there wait for example here is the origins i may just want to drag drag some of the grasses here see you can apply you also can start gardening then escape let's say if you double click this grass wait drag in start gardening then you can just go simply plant some grasses then that is okay then press escape now here you, you will have some grasses and then you may want to put some trees here go to the trees it is over here the total plants the biosphere collection the broad leaves you may just drag in any plants any trees it will automatic fit to the terrain, you press W, you can make it lower you can drag in any tree any tree that you want you can put any tree here these are the broad leaves if you want to put the conifers just choose it it will automatic touch the terrain and you may be able to create a really awesome outdoor scene palm and cactus you can plant anything here you can move it you press the blue just move it what is this this is the banana tree the banana cluster how about this this is a type of palm it will be really beautiful you can see everything here the cactus you press you can press delete buttons to delete it you press Q you can select any of of the trees that you already planted there you can change change the location it is really easy now you may feel you want to put some buildings you can just go to go to the prop and choose some building from here i may just go and find some building for example some of the houses let's say from here i can select some building these are the shops see now this is a bubble shop this is just an example I can put it anywhere let's say I want to put it here press F now let's say if I want to put this building just drag in then you can put any of the building on the terrain then you can press press R to make it smaller or you can stretch it if you want it is really easy for you to do all this you press W you can push it up and down so that you can fit to the terrain all right that is how how we make it if you double click If you are unable to double click it, 
you can go back to the scene and find the prop. For example, this is the one you press the delete button, you can delete it. It is really easy. For these ones, I may want to put here. Right, that is that is all the step by step on how to create any of the outdoor scenes in Icon Seven, so that you can perform any of the three D animation at here. This is Icon Seven. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorial are very helpful to the three D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a new notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.